dinosaurs once ruled Earth. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that part. He was fossilized, and then you guys found him. He used the power of science to bring him back to restore him to actually to what he was. Then, until the day I threw holy water at him, he vanished. <laughs> well, I like this. Like the power of Christ compels <laughs> this is This is an exorcism. Remember, this man right here, Jordakai, is the devil himself. That is boy, cool. Dark Soccer <laughs> is that. Well, Look at this dude, his red eyes. I mean, that dude scares me. I laugh when I see when I see people like, try to intimidate me. It's like back in the time when I was at Jimmy Slipper's birthday party with the guys from Fever Keeps You Real. And we were having like, we were doing an interview with the uh with this Samo with this one Samoan tag, the Nigerian Nightmares. And as soon as I mentioned the Slipper family because they had a match with them, they got mad and they got me and Paul in the pressure point and knocked us out for throughout the entire party. By the time we woke up the party was already over. Damn. Then, the next time you give me hallucinogenic brownies, I'll punch you. <laughs> we saw Dwayne the Clown over there, heck, let me tell you, the man, the man had the munchies. First we saw him, he was eating McDonald's. Then now and later we saw him eating a whole pizza pie. Then we saw him drinking a, a gallon of iced tea. We saw Brutus Beefcake. And you are, you're not going to believe how many beers he took with him from the bar to the locker room. Want to know how many he took? Yeah, sure. He took 23 beers. He yep. wrapped them all around his arms in a hugging motion. And took them with him to the back. Wow. Well, anyways, here comes the man who will be facing the great D at In the House 5. At the CPV, they'll be opponents. Tonight, they will be tag team partners. Hey, man, put the Magnum gun down. What? Who's got a gun? The, 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 the Magnum. <laughs> put it away, man. There's no people here to beat up before they're shooting. I oh, know. John Pryor got a victory. I would call it an upset victory over Magnum at Malicious Intent for Matt. And John Pryor is the new XGW Pure Champion. Pure? What makes him so pure? What, is he drug free? <laughs> he's not that, he's not Phil Brooks from the Big Fed in Stanford. Oh, is he pure? Like, is he drug free? What, what, what? Has, what, has he, like, is he still, he still kept his virginity? <laughs> you don't want that kind of pure? I don't think so. When you say pure, it could be any different thing. Did he purify himself from the rivers of Lake Minnetonka? <laughs> yeah, right. What are you doing? Anyways, here comes the XGW Ultimate Champion, the Great D, holding that XGW Ultimate title for a second time. Also, the former Ultimate Championship. What, did he go to Ultimate Fighting Championship? He's the XGW, the Extreme Global Wrestling League Ultimate World Champion. Well, must be, that must mean he must be the best in the world, the ultimate man. He'll go here and whoop anybody's ass for a dollar. <laughs> Come on, you know that the dollar's worthless. <laughs> Do not ever question the value of a dollar. Well, thankfully for some people who hold these so-called dollars, is gaining a little strength thanks to some uncertainties over in Europe. Let's just put it that way. Wait, you're saying you got more than a dollar on you? You go in the 50s and 20s and 10s? No. Well, Extreme Tony told me he's been showing me information about about to buy gold and silver. And oh wait, that as we get this match started now. Oh, that be a story. Yeah, this is a story I got to hear here at the bar. Yeah, as we get this match started. El Toro Extreme will go into town on Magnum. And El Toro. Holding that XG. He's not an actual bull. Come on now. Why is it John in the night of going Ole? Eh? <laughs> well, then, why is he going Toro, Toro, Toro? He's not. He's, a, he's, not, he's, not, a he's not a bullfighter. Not red. <laughs> a Toro's wearing red, but that don't count. <laughs> Anyways, as we get. And now, El Toro with a counter. He's showing up that power for a big man, he can move around. Setting him up in the top rope. Oh no, he's going for the most overused move in wrestling today. <laughs> the the su superplex. Damn. He got yes, up like it was nothing. Yes, yes, yes. 
the superplex will be forever the most overused move in wrestling. Oh, nice dropkick there by Jonathan Magnum. He caught him up the chin. That was beautiful. And now, what's Magnum going to do? Oh, he nicely slipped, done. He slipped on the sweat and delivered a throw thrust. <laughs> Why do we slip on, on sweat? That's yeah, it's mad hot in here, man. Well, what happened to the you got bad air with this bad air conditioning in this arena? Wait, what do you mean? It's... I have a I have a pack of ice on me. I'm, th I'm imagining I'm in imagining being in Alaska. Right? Well, I'm in well, I hope you got frostbite now, because you know how cold it is outside. Look, dude, it is hot outside. No, it's, it's like 97 degrees. That's in the summer, because I've been to Vegas plenty of times, and it gets to around 110, 115 degrees. Wait, you know I'll be in Vegas. I know, I've been in Vegas plenty of times. During the summer, it gets up around 115, 110 degrees outside, and then when it, at night, in the it, desert again? It, it gets up to around 84 degrees. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not, this, is, not that. this isn't that one movie, The Hangover. And I've also been to Vegas in the winter. And, oh, what, what a German suplex there by the great wait, did D. Did you actually get to see Evil King Evil? No, but I'm telling you. you Vegas and not see Evil King Evil. I don't know. There's a lot of things to do in Vegas. City of Sin, baby, yeah. But anyway, that's all I was saying to finish up my point. <laughs> he's just beating up a guy. He's going to town on this so-called scene. And he just threw a toy like he owed him money. And I bet he does owe, 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 owe he had, uh, the great D money. Well, I don't know about that. $100,000? Look, I'm not... The diamonds that he probably, probably pawned off. Or more like how MF Global stole customer bank accounts and oh what a clothesline there by Exoticai. Yeah but he's all dizzy already. <laughs> I think he had too much to smoke earlier. I'd be like I'll have what he's having. <laughs> I don't know about that. Look I'm not in the locker room with with these guys over there. How, how, how do you call yourself a broad a commentator if you don't even go to the locker room and hang with the guys? You gotta know, you gotta know your locker room man. Well, I go there yeah, every. Interact with, interact with people, damn it! I go there once every once in a while, but these I don't know what these guys do. Yeah, it's, it's over there, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go for an end right here and now. I think it's too early for the end. Yeah, now. Oh, what a power slam there by Exotic! Oh, he he kind of his hands like he's he's acting like this whole thing is over right here and now. Two and and the great D able to kick out. I would laugh, Diaz, if. That, if that match would have ended with that power slam. Well, it's it's not an now. If that would have happened, Great D would have lost all credibility. But he's not, because he's the XGW Ultimate Champion. And and, and he should be and he should be grateful. And now. Oh, wow. He forgot the belt as long as he can. One day the belt will be taken. It will disappear. I don't know about disappearing, but, but it'll change hands. I don't know when, but... Well, Exotic High is grabbing uh, Magnum with those steroid arms. Oh, <laughs> again with the steroids? Yeah, look at this dude. This dude's built up like a brownie college ball, like 18 packs of steroids. There's more than, than just steroids for these for in performance enhancers. It, it, Whatever. Have, have you heard of HGH? Steroids, performance enhancers, they, do, they all do the same thing. Have you heard of HGH? The it's, just a, human, it's just a fancy word. Some people use... Human growth hormones, and there's the other different kinds of performance enhancers, not just all, steroids. Look, man, they're all the same thing. They all do the same purpose. Well, I'll it's give you that. It's just a fancier term. Well, there's, well, they've developed many different things, and also that's like seeing that um that if in this one thing I saw one person had seven injections of anabolic steroids, a few performance enhancers, and a beaver tranquilizer. Wait. I don't know why they need a beaver tranquilizer. Whatever it was, must have been some. They must have had a beaver problem. Oh wait, Zorka! Oh man. wait, what a counter by the great D! <laughs> nice reversal door that arm breaker. And now Magnum gets tagged into this match, and these and two have a history. I don't know if you remember from from Global Warning last year when in that Inferno match between Magnum and and Exoticai where the where Jonathan Magnum finally was able to win the XGW Ultimate title. Dude, Exotic guy didn't even get hurt by those flames. Those flames just tickled him. He was bathing in the flames. <laughs> that 
that's where he lives, right? Well, he's from hell. He's the devil See? himself. And he loves the fire. He uh. probably was singing Star to Fire. <laughs> oh, <Paul> Bertie. <laughs> you know, exotic guy, go, go for a choke summon. He was burning like dousing Zill the Fire. <laughs> and look, oh my god, look at the, the power of Magnum. Hey, that's he the kind of. This steroid wrestler. Oh. <laughs> hey, if, if and, and, and Exoticai, he, he that tickled him. If I had a silver coin for every time you you said steroids, I have a I have a lot of ounces of silver. Be grateful Batista's not in this place. <laughs> oh, did, did you have to go there with with that? Because you know that I would be and Andy knows this. I would be saying so many steroid jokes. It would be a funny. It would be hilarious. And a nice neck breaker there by Jonathan Magnum. Let's see what he's going for here. Oh, what is he? Nicely done. He could barely lift it, so he had to drag him down. And now go for the Magnum driver. Magnum driver. Oh, one shot, one kill. Nice. Just can, can he go for the cover? Oh, oh look, he did, oh, look, he oh, Exoticai shrugged that off. The power of Exoticai, those demonic powers, and oh, what a close oh, that, line. That steroid power, that oh. those steroid like arms. There's just steroid power. <laughs> Don't ah, <laughs> steroids. Well, I'll tell you this. That's three more ounces of silver I have now. Three more ounces of silver. You need three more ounces of pesos, man. No. I'm getting the three more ounces of platinum. Platinum. Gold is worth German. more than... Another German. German. Will he go for the th Trinity? And he does. The Trinity... The the trifecta yeah, or the, the tri triple we'll play. Three in, a, three in a row. And wait. Exotica getting the tag in the El Toro Extremo. El Toro Extremo. He was popping his collar and he was ready to go to town. Wait, what the hell? And oh, wait. Toro. Go for the Toro Gore. Ow. God damn. He caught him with the Toro Gore. He was, he, he was like a bull. He charged no, and ran him over. Only a one count it as the great no, deal to kick out. Only a one count. Referee, come on, man. Good job. That was a three count right there. Total getting back up. Great deal is destined to lose. Oh, yeah, right now. Oh, damn. It's only fate. Oh wait, Great D getting back up. He's mad. I think he had a whip of Exudicai's Oh, an another Total Gore. My yeah, goodness! He had a whiff of Exoticai steroids and made him get up. <laughs> another, another. He got tired of the. He, he got mad at the smell. Then add another into the Toro Gore. Good yeah. plan, Exoticai. Yeah. Blue up your steroids. No, the cover. One, two, two. and Magnum. Oh, come on, Magnum! Come on, referee! Kill faster! <laughs> what? Every count. Oh, nice spinning heel kick there by the Great D, and then well, you are adding more to my fist stack. By the way, I, I do recommend buying silver. And I've attacked him. Silver and gold! Christmas! And look, I don't know if you, you should buy jewelry or, or anything like that. I recommend bullion. Nice back suplex, though, by, by Magnum. Hey, Magnum, you should go for the one shot, one kill right now. We'll see if he does. And then he's out of bullets. <laughs> oh, come on, you have to go there. And I'm throwing Wait, his throw down. He's going on the, in the top. Shades above Magnum. Oh, <laughs> nicely done. And now Magnum. And could be over right there. Go right for now. the cover. Whoa. Two. Oh, yeah, he, 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 he couldn't do it. He couldn't reload on time. And Toro able to kick out. And now Magnum. It's on a drop. Nicely done. And now Toro getting Toro, back Toro, up. Toro, Toro, take a seat. And that seat hurt. Nice that seat you never want to sit on ever again. Another so atomic drop. It's like a, a really crappy recliner. <laughs> and I said massage and electrocute you. <laughs> For five seconds. Yeah, okay. And, and it feels like a boiler. Nice counter. And, and he, he's like, go get out of here. You're not going to catch you with a knee. Oh, what a, what a so haymaker. Like, I couldn't catch you with a knee. I, you can have that punch. The great the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not. Oh, Magnum, <laughs> another DDT. He's getting ready. He's going to go for the one shot. Won't kill him, man. He's going to do it right now here. Go for another Magnum driver. Not connects. And now. Two bullet effect. 
And I'm going for the cover. One, two, two. and that's it. Yeah, because we probably should have gave on that turn with your steering wheel. He would have got up. Easy. You can't help but can you? Well, I'm not surprised at all. Some things you can't leave 